Alright, so we finished with the intersection and then we finished the visibility, how to solve it. Then we solved the shortest distance, yeah? And then so we'll cut into the slope of a line. Yeah? So the same problem, we ended up with a connecting line right here in our tertiary auxiliary view is a point view, yeah? And if we project in any direction, you're going to get your true line representation, yeah? So the line is, uh, the line in your secondary, yeah? Auxiliary view, sorry, secondary auxiliary view is your true line, yeah? And uh, in the primary auxiliary view, that's come from your parallel, yeah? Of the full line. Because here, you remember, like how we parallel that, and then you have your true line, and then we project this into that, okay? And I don't want you to uh, forget, all right, I forgot to uh, point out this CD. Remember like how we draw our third, uh, this, uh, okay, a full line, right? Um, they're parallel to each other, okay? So that, that way we can also have a, your true line on that side as well, okay? Because that one is uh, parallel to each other. And it's going to confuse you a little bit, okay? Uh, don't get into it. <laughs> you have first parallel is right here, yeah? But that's the AB, AB parallel to the first first one. Okay, then you project it in true land right there one time, okay? And then you're uh, another uh, projection there. But you got to remember this, okay? Uh, projection, yeah? And we go to the second one again. And we also have another parallel line right there, which is your CD, you know, with A3 right here, okay? And so when you project that to the other side, this is your true line again, yeah? So it becomes like, um, that. that's become also a primary auxiliary, okay? Of course, the, between this two view, when we say it. Um, make sure you understand that as well. Just follow the rule, yeah? Uh, you won't go wrong. Okay, then we'll get into the slope of a line. So a true length line that's inclined or to your horizontal plane may be expressed as slope or slope angle. Horizontal plane is your uh, top view, yeah? And we're going to take a look at it. You can't be able to see it right now just by reading it, yes? Okay, so now we have a visual diagram right here, uh, your horizontal view, and then your uh, front view here, example. So we got to get, first is your horizontal plane, and we have to have like an edge view of your horizontal plane, okay? And in order for us to uh, find the slope. So when a true land line intersect, right, the edge view of your horizontal plane, we got a slope, okay? And we will take a look at it in the diagram so it's easier for you to see. So we have a front view, extend the line, the same thing. Your full line is right here. Then we're gonna draw, okay? Look at this line. Yeah, that line is parallel to your full line, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go back. All right, so we're drawing parallel to the full line in our front view, right? And we keep this, look at this point, okay? Starting from that point all the way there. Your projectors are right here from point to point, point to point. And that's your slope angle, yeah? See that? There's an angle, yeah? Um, so your true length is right here, yeah? Because it's kind of like a projection uh, from the line that is parallel, yeah? This line is parallel to this full line. And we project it here to our front view. So this is a true line, okay? All right, so that's it for the slope of the line, how to get it.